What up, YouTube? It's your boy Black. Uh, going to do a quick unboxing of something I forgot was coming out. Well, I knew it was coming out. I just forgot it came out today. I figured it out last night. Uh, Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. Now, you people probably like they probably got this already because you can download it. But um, I'm a physical content guy. I wanted to wait for it to come out in a box, so I waited. It's basically the same thing as um. Super Street Fighter 4, except for they added um, four new characters, but they did rebalance the characters, so I don't know how much of a dramatic difference that's going to make, but they they did rebalance the characters, so if you're a type of person that cheeses with a certain move and it's a known glitch or a known advantage for that character, they might have taken that out because they um, rebalanced everything. Now, they did change a couple of things. It does have a replay and save mode. Um, I heard they um, did a lot better things with the online in this one. Um, they just fixed a lot of stuff that was broken in um, Super Street Fighter 4. And they added um, four new characters, which is cool. You know, I only paid $30 for this because if, if you go trade in your copy of um, Super Street Fighter 4, they give you like $10 for that. So I'm going to play that dead. You might as well get the $10 off of this. Plus, this is only 40 bucks, So you get this $30. So anybody who's a fighting game fan... I advise you to go pick this up um, as soon as possible. You know what I mean? It's damn sure it's worth it. You know, you got Yun and Yang in there. You got um, Evil Ryu. They even have Oni Akuma. Now, that is the most powerful version of Akuma I've ever seen. I mean, there was another Akuma who wore a purple gi, and they was named him like Super Akuma or some shit. He wore a purple gi. This is not him. This is Akuma at his truest form and is in, in like the highest form he could get he's an oni which is a japanese demon spirit i believe um yeah i'm just gonna unbox it real quick another thing i was worried about i was like i hope it comes with an instruction booklet because capcom makes some of the best instruction manuals they have color and art so that's why i was kind of iffy about trading in my old copy of the game like what if this one doesn't have a good instruction manual um boy was i wrong Wow. Now that's a damn instruction manual. And it's pretty thick. Let me see if it's got color pages. Wow, look at the back of the book too. Like that's really cool. And it's not the same characters on both sides. It's different characters on each side. Wow. Street Fighter 4 really has a lot of characters. Yeah, they did it again. The book is good. Like it has art in the book. See, that's an Oni statue right there, actually. Yeah, the whole book is in color with art. That's really good. It's time to break out the arcade stick. And try and get nice all over again with the new balanced characters. Yeah, it's really good. I think Capcom is the king of making really good um, instruction manuals because they actual they actually don't just put the moves on the um they don't actually just put the moves on the on the um on a list they actually show you pictures of what the moves look like so you know if you're doing it right you know so they they have examples to to show you stuff this right here is actually showing how to do. Uh, EX focus attacks, which I call it's like um, alpha cancels, where you can do a move and then cancel out of your focus and do another move. You know what I mean? So that, that's basically what it is. Cause you see, he's doing the dragon punch, then he, he um, EXs, then he does the double tap forward and does another dragon punch, which is like the basic EX cancel, which is cool. I don't really use that too often. That's more like for advanced players. I mean, I could get that advanced if I wanted to, but I just choose not to. But I'm not playing this trying to be as super competitive as I used to be. No, it's just for fun. I don't really have that many people around to play anymore, so. And I'm not a big online guy. I would be in Street Fighter if the damn online was worth playing. It's so laggy and freezes and, you know, and then the lobby system was all screwed up. But it looks like they improved a lot of that. Looks good, guys. Go pick it up. Make this quick. Uh, also, Resident Evil Mercenaries is coming. Well, it came out today. Also, I'm thinking about going to get that because this week is my birthday, so I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to get too much stuff at the beginning of the week. But I also gotta pay a couple bills 
So, yeah, trying to balance everything out. So, trying to get stuff while I have the money to get it. Because at the end of the week, I might have some money. But I got to pay some bills. And I want to celebrate my birthday. And I want to get games. And I want to take my son to see the new Transformers movie. Me and him. And my wife and kids. So, yeah. A lot of shit. Trying to spread it all around. You know, real game is stand up. Um, I might be back on with Resident Evil um, 3DS edition, or I might not. We'll see what happens. I'm going to watch some videos on YouTube, and I guess that'll see if that'll sway me either in the, the nay or the yay. We'll see. All right, real game is stand up.